Okay. Sorry for the um, the delay, the lapse in videos. I've been busy this week, and it's been on the back of my mind to catch up with the World of War update. I got a uh, suggestion from one of you from MSF Soldier Alligator, which sounds like a Metal Gear Solid reference. I don't know if that's where the name comes from. Looks like that's where your your icon might be coming from, but they suggested that I check out two achievements, which I feel like, after doing a little bit of research on it, revealed some... If I unlock these achievements, it will reveal some new content that's come with the update. And that was to go for the Restless achievement and the Onyx Medallion achievements. And I think we can do both of those in one in one run, one pass of the game. So let's try that and let's see what happens. And I'm not sure if I want to do hard mode or normal mode, considering the um, the what it entails to unlock the achievements, but let's, let's give it a shot. So let's go custom playthrough. Continue. Random seed. And... Let's see. I think I'm gonna stick with with Moriko and maybe no backstory. And let's see. Uh, come on. All right. Okay. Come on. You're right, right in the middle of it. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna. Uh, can I do true believer difficulty? I'm worried the um I'm worried if I do true believer I'm not going to survive. <laughs> not going to survive to see the uh to get this to the end. If I do normal difficulty on this pass, I will do a um <laughs> Harbinger of Doom uh endless mode run probably afterwards to kind of balance it out. So, I'll, I might stick with Cultist. Uh, I'll stick with Cultist. And... Let's see. Use character exclusive per cards only. Okay, can, let's go basic options. Okay, so... Moriko. Okay, okay, okay. So, let me just get... Let me just roll this over, because I want to make sure I'm doing this right. Okay, I think this will work. Let's go continue. Classic mode. And... I also saw some achievements, I think, for unlocking some new old gods. I'm gonna have to confirm that, but... Oh, who do we go with? I feel like since we're, <laughs> since we're doing normal, the more normal difficulty, I might as well do... Do I do Othatu? I mean, it's gonna make the shotgun... Those, those shotgun shells really last. It's gonna they're gonna do some high impact damage. Um, <laughs> it's like I'm just I'm really shooting myself in the foot here if I do a thought too. But somewhere group okay. So a thought too is both your damage and your enemies is increased. Okay, I think we can do. I think we can get away with doing a thought too. At least it'll make things a little more interesting. The supposed cause of destruction of the Library of Alexandria. A perfect black marble statue has been recently has been recently rediscovered and is currently waiting in the museum of our town for its premiere. Okay. Okay, so the two achievements entail um going through a whole run without resting once. And the other achievement entails amassing five curses. So, I kind of have a strategy for this. Let me just check the... Okay. Let's equip this shoddy. And we go home, and here we're at the new city planning screen. So... Let's see, I want to go to 
forest. And I want to I want to make sure the witch's tree is, is equipped. And let's see, I think that's it. I guess we'll just make sure the other ones are the new machines. Okay, the dog. Uh so I didn't learn spells. What's what's put on the school nurse? I don't know if we're ever gonna really end up using them. I don't know if getting your injuries healed counts as resting. Seaside. I'm kind of regret picking a, a thought to for this. Um, okay. Just double check the forest. Okay, confirm and continue. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I can't rest. So, I'm assuming that also means probably taking a bath. Alright. Oh, okay. Let's grab this fun from the box. And... Maybe stick with a tank top. And, okay. There's so many opportunities to rest. I'm just trying to make sure I, I can't rest at home. And, I mean, I'm assuming I can heal myself. That doesn't, in, that does not, that does not, uh, induce resting. It's making, it's making me nervous for some reason, because I don't want to get this wrong. Okay, let's go, let's check out what mysteries we have. Okay, normal arms, fear festival, household hell, rancid ramen, freaky, freaky feature of found footage. Oh, you can re-roll the mysteries. I wonder if... What does that entail? Hopefully it doesn't do doom. Let's see what, what we get with this. Okay, eels, moonlight sailors, normal arms, household hell, contagious coma. Let's keep doing this. I, I want to see if... I think there's two mysteries... Added. Okay, beckoning bulletin. I wonder how many times I can keep doing this. These look very similar. Let's see, let's keep going. Fear Festival, Normal Arms, School Scissors, Violent Vigil. Perilous Parable of the Peculiar Painting. Okay, that is a new one. Um. Okay. Let's do that first since. This is absolutely new. I'm gonna. I'm going deep. I'm just don't know why I'm trying to, trying to like consolidate all the new information, trying to trying to deliver like a the deluxe. All right, let's do the new one. Let's do the, let's do the new one. Perilous parable of peculiar painting. A damp looking letter addressed to you arrived this morning. Mamiya Ichiro, a famous painter you were once a huge fan of, has replied to a message you sent him last summer. Okay. He thanked you for the letter and invited you to his mansion. You're going to witness the creation of his true masterpiece, he wrote. That's not, that's not a good sign. Just, just how could you decline? The logic is not... How could you decline? I mean, considering just how... Or whatever, whatever, let's jump into this. Okay. You finally arrived at the mansion gate. This is a new screen. This is cool. You are afraid you will never be able to remove the lingering, musty smell of wetlands from your clothes. Alright, well, where is this mansion? Now, where is everyone? Okay, so here's our mansion foyer. Advances the mystery. Okay. Let's keep going. I got the shotgun. I'm the only person rolling around uh, Shiokawa with, with, the load, <laughs> with the loaded shotgun. You enter the art workshop. The room is cluttered with half-finished sculptures and bizarre masks hanging on the wall. One sculpture strikes you as eerily realistic. This is some kind of, um... I think this is the, uh... Could pertain to the something evil... Uh, side quest, but I, I don't want to deal with it right now. Let's check out the masks. Usually we get a mask item. One mask, one mask looks similar to the design you once saw 
in an occult book. You decide to take it with you. Okay, cool. Stalker's Mask. One plus damage against human enemies. Okay, let's equip it. <laughs> you continue your search. While walking through the empty mansion, you can hear something rustling in the bushes behind the building. While walking through the empty mansion, okay. So, Force advances the mystery. Okay. I'm assuming we probably don't have much more business in the mansion foyer. I mean, I'm sure there's probably a twist in the quest line, but let's go to the forest. We'll try to do this uh, vanilla the first time. A sudden storm forces you to find shelter in a nearby cave. Looking around, you discover strange markings on the cave's walls. Alright, we don't have the flashlight. We'll try to decipher them. It goes a knowledge check. You recognize the strange symbols and connect them to the horrors plaguing your town. Crouching next to a moss-covered stone is a woman. Hello. Are you here for Ichiro-san's showcase of the newest painting? Oh. Uh, where are my manners? My name is Emmy, and I'm a curator working for the art gallery in Shiokawa. Emmy smiles. Ichiro-san is somewhere in the mansion, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure he is. I'd hope you look for him, but I want to catalog these, she says, pointing at the rock. The ritualistic marking are unique to this region, I've been told. Interesting. Interesting that the that event was, uh, I thought it was randomized, but, okay. So we have painting studio, mansion foyers, advances the mystery. What's, um, all right, this person's here. Let's go to the painting studio. <laughs> move the mouse, move the mouse to look around the room. You crouch down and press your head against the locked door. This is such a bad idea. Trying to see anything through the keyhole. It's so dark you can barely make out shapes. You have to find a way to turn the lights on. Oh, this is such a ter this is such a terrible terrible idea. Move the mouse to look around. Okay. Let's see. Can I get catch a little bit more than just the curtain over here? Alright. Not much not much to the keyhole. Um we gotta turn these lights on. Let's go back to the forest real quick. I want to see if we can uh, get any uh, get any word from our new friend. The museum started hanging up posters promoting the Greek art exhibition, unaware of the danger. The opening night may prove to be the last night for all of us. The thought too has come in, and now you know the date. Or right, we got a little bit of doom, a little bit of experience. They're hanging up the uh, exhibition posters <laughs> in the forest. You hear the sound of glass breaking somewhere in the mansion. Okay, interesting. All right, so, okay, they're back. Now they're back. Oh, interesting. Now, Emi's back at the foyer. Let's go check out the, vo the foyer. Following a suspicious person, you enter a old rundown mansion room. It stinks like spoiled milk and has only two doors, one of which you came through. You can't see the strange man anywhere. I always search the room because it always gives you a free item. There's nothing really important here, but you think you might be able to use the one item you do find. All right. Found an energy drink. Plus one dexterity until the end of your current mystery. <laughs> Not the healthiest thing in the world. Yeah. Okay. There are countless paintings hanged on the walls of this mansion. All of them show alien landscapes and weird humanoids dancing around in circles. <laughs> Sounds like the uh, outer realms. You don't recognize any of them, but the technique used in, the technique used is unmistakable. Ichiro-san painted these. Okay, so we have a new um, we have a new area here opened up. Two new areas: boarded up building, advances the mystery. Mansion foyer, painting studio, 
and the workshed. I'm kind of interested to see what's in the workshed. Okay. <clears throat> Let's check out this workshed. At some distance from the main building, there's an old workshed. Even though the surrounding is now overgrown in its heyday, it must have been used to store the gardening equipment. Inside, it's really dark, and you don't have the time to search this place closely. Grab a flashlight. You find a toolkit by the door. Flashlight seems like the best choice, but a sudden crash coming from the mansion prevents you from investigating the work shed. Okay. Come here, you little creep. All right. Okay, we have a flashlight now. Flashlights, okay. A sudden crash coming from the mansion prevents. This mansion is big, but surprisingly you can hear a lot of uh a lot, a lot of sounds coming from this mansion. Can we equip this? Okay, replaces the mask. Finally, you find a key in one of the desk drawers. You head towards the private rooms, hoping to find the painter himself. This is going to be This is, I can already tell this is going to be a uh, it's going to be crazy. Um, let's check out the painting studio again. Okay, trying to see anything through the keyhole. We have the flashlight. It's so dark you can barely make out shapes. Turn the lights on. Okay, so... Okay, we, could, we can't view through the keyhole with the flashlight. What's, um... Um... Okay, looks like... Emi's gone. Let's check out boarded a building. I, don't, I knew I was going to run into someone. You were startled when you discovered that headless body. You were horrified when you saw its head hanging in the middle of the room and laughing. It's probably like one of my favorite favorite looking enemies. So 10 HP, 40 power. They're doing 3 reason damage. How much damage are we doing? Alright. I could probably just... 50% chance to hit. That's really low. Can we prepare two? We can't prepare two normal attacks. What can we do? How many attack boosts can we buff these with? Three, four, five, six, seven. No, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do. Let's prepare a normal attack and then we'll go. Here, let's double check. Three for 80? Or can we do. What if we prepared a... That's not going to work. Okay, let's prepare a normal one and we'll do three buffs to... So preparing it will guarantee the hit. And then we have 50% chance to hit. Now it's been buffed by 30%, so... 80% is not too bad. Let's see if those, these land. Okay. What did they drop? The, the thread. Okay. Oh no, hair. Alright. Finally find a key in one of the dust drawers, okay. You head towards the private room, hoping you find the painter himself, okay. So, let's go to the private rooms. There's a local legend about a heartbroken seamstress. One stormy night, she broke into a local inn and stitched the unsuspecting guests together. Her final gruesome artwork. But that's just a legend, right? Let's, let's rifle through the cupboard. I think we'll probably get more thread. I found you at last. Okay. Ooh, that's a... Uh... Okay. Every visible surface of the room you enter is covered in obscene paintings and grotesque monster faces. Is this the artist? In the middle of the room, you spot Ichiro-san repeatedly stabbing Emi and splattering her blood over an empty canvas. Oh, no. Yeah, because they went, they went missing earlier, but I, I, it makes me wonder how... Okay, there's definitely a way to keep him. Ichiro-san smiles when he notices you. Oh, my biggest fan, I can't... Ah, my biggest fan, I can't let you know my secret. I'm going to fight this guy. Uh, the mad painter slowly takes off his dark glasses. Jeez. Okay. Oh, okay. 
They're doing a lot of stamina damage. You raise your old shotgun. Don't come any closer. I'm going to have to smoke. I'm going to smoke a churro son. Probably going <laughs> to... I'm going to blast them with, with, with the shotgun shells that I do have. Okay, so I like before I wrap this up, I feel like there is definitely a way to save uh, Emi. Maybe I took too long jumping between locations. But there seems to be it's, uh, some availability for... Uh, this is probably not the preferable ending, I feel. Alright, let's do, um... I think they're a human enemy. Let's, let's double check, yeah. Let's put on the Stalker Mask. Oh, you don't have time to change equipment, okay. It would've been nice to have that extra damage. Um... Man, I'm not hitting for a lot. Let's, um, let's prepare... the, uh... fire one of the shotgun shells. And... Maybe we can swing off a um, a normal attack for seventy percent. Let's see if these if these stick. Four stamina damage is, is a lot. Okay. Yeah. Chirosan stabs you with a knife. Okay. Okay. Um, eleven HP. Let's see. They might swing on us again. No, I should probably just use the shoddy. <laughs> oh boy, this is crazy. Okay. Alright, bud. Oh, it's such a gruesome, such a gruesome picture. As you rush to save Emi, you notice something terrifying. All grotesque painted monsters begin to leave their canvases. Oh no, don't tell me this is going to keep going. You can't do anything but stare as they grab both corpses and begin devouring them. Oh, wow. I, I, I really want to redo this one. In a last-ditch attempt, you knock over a lamp, setting the room on fire. chiro greatest creations can never see the light of day. Okay. Reward. Okay, so we got... Um, interesting, you could have maybe gotten the painting. Doom reduced. Time passes. Okay, that's crazy. A weird, ep a weird epidemic keeps staff at the hospital busy. Keeping the line, skipping the line will cost you more. Okay, so let's see. I don't think we gained anything. So it looks like there's an opportunity there to, um, to keep the painting that they're working on. We're definitely gonna have to go back and and see that again. So, we're going to probably sell that. Let's go, let's do, um, we're still not resting. Let's do, school scissors is going to be tough. It'd be nice if I still had those shotgun shells. Um, let's do, I feel like abnormal arms might be a quick one. Still an alternate ending to that. Okay. An alarming alarming account of abnormal arms. I remember when it started. The woman next door was strangled to death in her bed with no sign of forced entry. The killer was never found and the apartment remained vacant. So, before I... Before I... follow through with this, I want to... I want to go to the tree. So it's... I think I can... I think I can get curses here. Let's see if we can get five of them. According to legends, this tree's roots reach towards the grave of a lynched witch. Nailing a straw doll to this tree will grant you your wish, for a price, that is. I hope this doesn't equate to rust in. So, let's do, um, wish for strength. I'm not going to try to heal. Let's do, uh, wish, wish for spells. 
Because I seem to have enough funds. Okay. There's one curse. Casting spells. Raises damn. Alright, let's do it again. Such a terrible idea. Alright. Let's go. Let's get another one. Brain, brain damage. Negative two knowledge. Plus ten max reason. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's take another one. <laughs> They're just like, why do you keep coming back? Holes. Oh, no. Okay. How, what spells are we getting for this enthrallment? Okay. Ancestral strength. Alright, two more. Let's see. Oh. You shouldn't have come here again. Oh, damn. Okay, so... We've got three... Three... Spells. How do we get more spells? I gotta think. I gotta think where the spells... Where the, sp where the curses might come from. For some reason I kept thinking that the... Uh, the Witch's Tree would... I'd be able to max out on it. I've gotten spells... But I've gotten curses before... It's a bad idea. Okay, let's leave. Oh, where can we get more curses? Uh, there's got to be a place we can get more curses. Oh, boy. Let's put this mask back on. Where do we get more curses? I feel like I always get hit with curses just at random. Might be random. Hmm... Let's, let's investigate the hospital location. I, okay, while taking an elevator, you get a terrible feeling as if something bad is about to happen. This is the luck check. Elevator doors open, revealing a black mass of eyes and teeth pouring into the elevator, biting and suffocating you. Later, you wake up in a doctor's office. A nurse discovered you lying unconscious on the elevator floor. Do I sell... Let's see, what's sell... Let's sell the library notes. Um... Okay... Maybe... Let's forget the spell. And... Plus one damage. Cause for reason. Midas... Hmm... I really don't want this one either. I'll keep the Ancestral Strength. Oh, let's go to the hospital again. It's part of the therapy. Some patients took part in art classes. Some of their work fills you with, with dread. Okay. Anatomical Museum Archive displays a specimen with elongated arms and jellified bones. Okay. I really don't know what the alternate ending for this was. I always thought it just ended one way. Let's see if um let's see if that changes. Let's investigate the downtown. Ooh, this is gonna be crazy. A sudden blast of heat grabs your attention. An older man standing next to you screams in pain as he's engulfed in fire from seemingly nowhere. As other people start to panic and help the burn victim, you spot a hooded woman standing in the distance. When she sees you, she starts to run. You can't shake off the feeling that you were the target of the supernatural attack. Oh, what is the... Um... Okay, let's pursue them. Dexterity check, failure. The hooded woman disappears behind a corner. You, when you get there, she's gone. Already mixed in with the crowd. They failed to stop you today, but you're sure they'll try again and again. Okay. Interesting. I need more curses. <laughs> a woman jumps out of her apartment covered in gore. Between sobs, she tries to explain what happened. She was taking a shower when suddenly the shower had started spraying blood. A trail of blood leads into the dark apartment. I can't quite tell if... I feel like check the bathroom is probably a perception check. Calming down, calming her down would be charisma. Let's check the bathroom. It was a knowledge check. Wow. 
Okay, you don't you don't enter the bathroom. Instead, you go straight to the building's boiler room. One pipe coming from the ground. Looks like it was welded to the central system recently. Where does it lead? I can't quite... I'm glad that I'm redoing some of these. It seems like... I don't think they added this ending. Maybe I just never... Maybe I just was not paying attention before. You notice the odd placement of ventilation shafts. They seem to they seem too small for anyone to crawl through though. Let's keep investigating the apartment. Excuse me. Do you have a moment to talk about our real lord and savior? The day of reckoning is coming, says the voice on the other side of the line. You definitely don't like the way the man on the other side of the line puts an accent on real. Hello, are you still there? I, I got a call... I actually got a call... yesterday. I don't know... I don't know if this is just like regional, but I get these, uh... these scam calls where people... they're normally trying to offer me an extension on some kind of auto insurance policy. I think everyone's been getting these, but... Yesterday I got one where it was like, you can get a free month off your utility bill. And I, and I asked, I asked the person, I was like, they, they knew my name. So I don't know where the, where this, this information comes from. They know my name and they say, uh, they, they, they address, can I speak to, to so-and-so? And I was like, yes. And they're like, we're here to offer you a month off from your your utility bill this isn't this so I asked them I says I said what what utility company do you work for and they couldn't give me a straight answer and then they kept kind of going on in their spiel about this region which I I, I don't live in any anymore so I don't I don't know they obviously have some really outdated information on me and um I asked them what utility company they think that I have, and they kind of kept going. And I, I, I kind of laid the phone down. I usually have it on speaker anyway, and I got the, <laughs> I got the like, "Hello, are you still there?" And I was just like, I just like hung up on them. <laughs> I can't believe how like, I, I don't know if audacious is the right word for it, but how persistent this the scam calls are. It's absolutely ridiculous. I'm gonna hang up. I'm going to hang up on the Wired Preacher. You put down the phone, a little shaken up. Just how many people did that odd man call today? Okay, come here, Chunky. Come on. I really don't know why people think the... Uh, why they think the scam calls are... How they think that they're going to get... I mean, obviously, they're, they're, they must be ripping off someone if... If they're if it's if it's working to some degree, but <clears throat> it's not a it's not a good it's not a good gig if if your if your whole if your work is is trying to rip people off. Let's investigate these apartments. While looking around the ransacked room of your recently deceased friend. You discover a half-finished painting of a woman, her skin a ghastly pale yellow color. The scene is disturbing. You struggle to look at it. I, I think this is a perception check. Okay, charisma, charisma check. Failure. Intimidated, intimidated by the unsettling painting. You're haunted by, by nightmares. Let's um, let's sell this. I, I, I want the one point of reason. One neighbor is complaining about her underwear missing. Alright, let's keep going. The investigation has taken a toll on you. You start to miss the most obvious leads. Alright, we got a little doom penalty there. Second neighbor second neighbor is complaining about weird noises coming from the vents when she's at home. I'm still trying to think how we can get a how we can get another curse. You hear rustling on the other side of the apartment door. Someone is trying to get in. 
lo and behold, it's the apartment stalker. Looks like we've finally met face to face. He looked pretty excited to see me, to find <laughs> to find someone else with the uh, with the same mask. Oh, they're doing three stamina damage. 30 power, 25 health, okay. What are we doing here? Six, 60% 60 chance to hit, six damage. Can we load up two of these? We can't, okay. Um, six damage. How many, how many of these, uh, how many of these uh, attack boosts can we add? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six. It would be about 90% 90, 90 chance to hit for both swings. Doing 12. Do we have... I guess we have nothing we could... Nothing else we can try to attack them with. I want to try to get them on the next hit. What if we do... Let's see, 6 damage. Dexterity. What is the shotgun? It's a perception weapon. Um, okay. Throw item at the... Okay, man, do I throw the flashlight at, at the stalker? <laughs> I guess I'm trying to think if I can do... Uh, let's see if we can go with... 8, 16, 24... Maybe we can do a strong attack and... Something else, maybe? Let's see, the kicks are always landing for 80. So it'd be 8 plus 4, it'd still be 12. It's like I'm short. Um, one, one, like, low damage attack. Maybe, I just don't want to, probably just end up throwing the flashlight at him. Even though I don't want to get rid of the flashlight, I don't want to get hit twice for six damage. Let's do, uh, let's attack him this time, let's see if these land. This would be a 90% chance to strike, so we can get off 12 damage on him. Okay, let's see. Oh, brain damage wasn't... Oh, it was a curse, okay. Concussion, negative one to knowledge until the end of your current mystery. That's taking up <laughs> precious room for my curses right now. So hopefully this one this one will go away after the... Um, after... Um, after this mystery. Okay, thir let's throw the flashlight at him. I, I really hate to, to lose the flashlight like this, but let's, um, let's see, let's finish them off. Can we do, can we prepare two of these? No. Let's do the same thing. Hopefully these land. Okay. Probably going to give me the uh, baseball bat. All right, so we traded. Let's level up. Okay, deft hand's cool. Firearm melee attacks are 20% faster. Let's do that and maybe we'll bring up um Let's bring up Perception. I feel like that's only gonna make the um It's definitely gonna make the uh the shotgun probably more effective, I think. Okay. Let's keep investigating. You find an envelope lying on a pillow in your bedroom. Inside is cash and a note from someone who has been watching you. They wish you luck in your task and promise to meet you soon. Just how did this envelope end up in your bedroom? So we got plus two phones and negative one reason. Can we use the... Um, maybe we can use the vending machines to heal. Um, Alright, let's investigate the boiler room. You enter the dark boiler room and trip over the pipe. Cursing, you find a light switch and gasp in horror. It's not a pipe at all. It's a long rubbery arm coiling around the room and ending in a ventilation shaft. Coming closer, you can smell something vile. 
and run. <clears throat> Alright, this seems to always end the same way, but there's probably a better ending to this. You must fall to the ground when you see the wide open stare of the dead pervert, his elongated limbs stretching and, dis and disappearing in the, in the vent's darkness. Inside his mouth, you find a tiny key. I'm trying to remember where the tiny key comes into play again. After the police has arrived, the whole building was searched. Following the arms, the detectives find the body of a man stuck in a ventilation shaft. Later, he is identified as the building caretaker. In his closet, police find pieces of underwear and voyeur photos of the tenants. Oh shit, our, the, the Hull's curse is doing damage. Um, okay, cool. You're questioned thoroughly and eventually released as the murder case is being covered up. That's the case of an unfortunate gas leak. Dangerous bands of rioters are gathering around downtown area. The police are hopeless. Right, so we got riots now. Probably makes the downtown area more dangerous to investigate. Um. Ah, let's see. <laughs> just, just another day. Tiny key. I'm trying to remember. There was another. There's another place where the tiny key is. Um, is useful. I know in the school, I think there's like a, there's a rifle. It's probably where we're going anyway. Let's go home. Take that key. And let's, um, let's see. Let's check out what mysteries we have left. School Scissors, okay. The Far Out Fable of a Fear Festival. Vicious Versals, Vicious Verses of a Violent Vigil. Alright, so we got three left. Oh, I can't remember what Vicious Verses does. Far Out Fable of a Fear Festival. Fear Festival is one of those where we can probably burn some some time. There's no there's no ending. Well, we can get the unpreferred ending if if we um or do we I'm trying to think if we speed through that one if there's some advantage. I'm trying to think if we can get healed if we can get our stamina and our reason healed at the end of a mystery by by getting the preferred ending. School scissors is gonna be School scissors are gonna be a tough fight at the end. It'd be cool if I can get some shotgun shells, or some way of getting shotgun shells before I fight them. And I can't remember what violent, vicious versus a violent. Oh, violent vigil is when we go to the the mansion, and our like great uncle is tries to resurrect themselves. Let's do fear festival. Far out fable of a fear festival. Your aunt had sent you a letter inviting you for a curious sounding festival. It's held every 27 years in a small village. You don't like the sound of it, but your parents both agree you need a break from all the stress. <laughs> Inside the letter, there's a bus ticket. What's the worst thing that could happen? You ask yourself as you board the bus. You know how bad, these, how bad things can happen. Just when you thought your stomach couldn't handle it anymore, the janky old bus stops at its destination. You get up and take a deep breath before looking around. It's a small village, and the nearby fields are surrounded by a thick forest. Okay, so... Free... Okay, I'm not going to go into our room. Well, if we do, I'm, I'm not going to... I'm not going to rest. Your group has arrived in the village and is currently unpacking at the inn giving you some time to explore. The festival begins at evening. Um, let's explore the, re the, the weird village. Wandering down the dirt paths of the village, you find yourself someplace familiar. You realize this is where you used to live when you were little. As your mind drifts, 
you wander further down the road. You find yourself at the cemetery where mom is buried. <laughs> you can you can unbury your mother. I don't have the shovel. Let's leave an offering. From the nearby temple, you buy incense and flowers. After cleaning the grave and placing your offerings, you spend a few minutes praying. You don't remember her, and you were too young, but the way dad talks about her, you still miss her anyway. That's cool. That's a new one. We'll have to come back and unbury, unbury them, I guess. Um, let's go... Um. Let's enjoy the festival. I'm still trying to find ways to get more curses. There's still some time before the festival starts. The locals are seemingly busy setting up stands and decorating the place. A few stands are already open, but you can't shake off the feeling something is wrong. It's getting late. Um, buy souvenirs, look for friends. Uh, let's go... Buy souvenirs. Is this the, um... Let's look for friends. You couldn't find any familiar faces in the crowd. Okay. Festival Grounds is now open for visitors. Maybe you should check it out. Yeah, let's keep going to the, um... Let's keep going to the, uh... To the festival. Okay, there's still some time. Let's, uh... Let's see what souvenirs are available. Holy Candle. Plus two stamina, negative two doom. Pancakes looks good. Taiyaki. What does this do? Price zero funds. Why is that even available? It's uh, probably going to take it. I'm going to put this uh, here in storage. Zero funds? What what is this? Food plus one reason. Tasty. Okay, so it's just like a free. Oh wait, fancy earrings. But it says it's food. <laughs> That's not right. It sells for nothing. Okay, let's hold on to that. Okay, let's continue. Um. Weird sounds coming from the forest kept you up at night. What could it all mean? Let's go check out the forest. A heat wave continues with record temperatures. Continuing your investigation makes takes more time and more effort. Okay. Let's see. Let's go back to the festival. I want to go to the store again. Okay. Ritual mask. There's another fish. This will look well held in inventory. Man, I'll happily keep taking these if if they keep filling up my um, my inventory. Free action advances the clock, and something's watching you from behind the trees. I mean, let's go back. I mean, if the, I keep getting free stuff from the souvenir store, I'm not going to complain. I want these pancakes, though. Yeah, the pancakes would be great. Going back to the inn, you overhear two masked villagers. They're talking about something awakening up the next dawn. You wonder what's up with you. You wonder what's up with that. Okay, let's continue. I'm going to eat these pancakes. Not the healthiest breakfast option, but it smells fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, let's let's use the pancakes. And can we access our storage here? I don't think we can. Okay. Hmm. Let's um. Taiyaki. Okay. Explore the weird village. Where do we go back to the uh to the forest? Let's explore the weird village. Walking through the village, you're suddenly pulled behind a building. Two menacing-looking masked figures block your escape. Do you serve the old ones? I'm going to say yes, so we get the two allies. 
We are going to get some doom for this, though. We knew it. The prophecies were true. The masked figures relax a bit, taking off their masks. We apologize for this, Master. Plus two allies. Plus ten doom. Okay, we got the Hermit. You don't want to learn the truth, so they do reason damage, but they will reduce um, our doom if we let them go. And we got a... Uh, Iwa, I'm the best. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see. Iwa looks at you waiting. Or it's not too bad. Um. Oh, it's so. I mean, getting these uh, takiyakis are. Tayaki. Okay. What's uh? Let's try one of these. Hopefully, nothing happens. Okay. Explore the weird village. Weird sounds coming from the forest kept you at night. I mean, if we keep exploring the forest, I just don't know what it what comes from that. Drooping tree branches hang over the path, framing it in an almost macabre way. It's almost inspiring. If I get lost in thought, I think we're going to fall into this uh, this pit. Let's, let's get a grip. You quicken your pace and leave the menacing path. Okay. So we need to go back and explore the festival. Where is everyone? Trail of blood and sickly smelling sludge leads to an leads to an outskirt of the village. Somewhere in the dark forest there's an answer waiting for you. Right now we have to keep uh exploring the forest. You have a feeling that you're being watched, and when you hear a branch snapping, you quickly turn around. There is someone standing in the trees, just a few meters away. Let's not confront the person. Okay, the decomposing skin and vacant stare can only mean one thing. It's a corpse someone has propped up. The idea that someone could do it so close to you and so quietly makes you shudder. So we got two plus two doom for that. Let's keep exploring the forest. Oh, I, I really don't like this, uh, this event. Hearing some rustling behind a bush, you decide to hide behind a tree. There you spot three men, each armed with a rifle. They're obviously looking for something or someone. Um, let's try to reveal ourselves, but I think we're going to get blasted. Okay. You walk from behind a tree and wave. Suddenly you hear a bang and feel an impact on your shoulder, which quickly turns into intense pain. Damn, that's not him. You hear the scream of one of the men before everything gets dark. When you open your eyes, you find yourself next to a road leading to a forest. Your wound is bandaged, but you fear it's not enough. So the hasty aid. Let me see what this does. I'm trying to think how we mitigate this. I probably need to actually get this healed. Um, okay, let's keep exploring. <laughs> we found another one of these. Okay. The museum started hanging up posters promoting the Greek art exhibition. Alright, Athatu is coming and now you know the date, so plus 10 experience, plus 3 doom. Alright, let's enter the uh, overgrown factory. While exploring the factory, you are caught by masked people you've seen from Inn's window. Tied up, they bring you to the cult leader. We knew you'd come. You hear a raspy voice, your aunt's voice, coming from behind the priest's, priest's weird mask. She signals towards door behind him. Okay, our master is waiting for a final blood sacrifice. Maybe if we had the uh, ritualistic mask, we would be able to uh, circumvent. Maybe we can like become part of the uh, of the ritual. All right, this ends. This ends the same. With a loud bang, the ancient horror disappears and the high priest falls to the floor, grabbing their shoulder. The last thing you see before blacking out are the beams of flashlights in a, in a hand of a police officer saving you from the from fall. Later that day, detectives interrogating you are confused when you tell them about the ritual of blood and eldritch being. Village is abandoned, with no trace of blood anywhere. You're the only one seeing the ancient horror. <laughs> 
no doubt. Okay, got a little experience. A little bit of reason, stamina. And we're losing stamina from the Holes Curse. Man, I should have saved that for the end. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... If there's another uh, scam likely call from... <laughs> I almost wonder if I should just answer this. I'm not going to. I'm never going to entertain them. Can't believe they keep calling me. Um, plus one knowledge, dexterity. They must have. They must have known that I was talking about them. They heard me through the phone. Let's do. Uh, let's do. Daddy's girl regain two stamina at the end of each mystery. I'm going to need that. And let's bring up. Maybe we'll bring up perception. Just to balance out the, uh, at least get that up to eight. Okay. I just did a little research on the curses. Let's see if we can, um, I might be able to brain damage. Okay. Let's see if we can, no, hasty aid. I think we can probably heal this. Let's go to, let's go to, um, let's go back home. Freaky Flood, did the water level suddenly increase or is our city slowly sinking okay stick the key um and let's go let's see there's two opportunities here for to get curses so let's go let's go to the mystery screen and i think violent vigil gives us an opportunity for a curse i'm going to save School scissors for the end. I'm hoping I can get some shotgun shells before we roll in. Oh, okay, hold on. Can we go to... Alright, maybe we'll have to check the vending machines. Yeah, but we, both, we get locked into the... Um, we get locked into the school screen. I was hoping I can get back to the... Uh, to the main town screen so I can check out the vending machines. Okay, let's just, let's, tr let's do Vicious Vigil and, or Violent Vigil. Still trying to amass us two curses. You've received an official looking letter. What does a law firm from Tokyo want from you? We regret to inform you of the passing of our client and your grand uncle. His funeral will be preceded by an overnight vigil as per the client's request. There's an address and the list of people expected to arrive. You don't recognize any of the names. Intrigued, you decide to check it out yourself. What's the worst thing that could happen? Okay. Let's um let's explore the mansion. In the mirror you catch a glimpse of something that shouldn't be there. Okay, we got a little bit of doom. I'm trying to think if we should do this investigation the right way. Maybe. It takes you some time, but finally you manage to find someone. Is that another guest? You should ask them what's going on in here. So, four actions on the right allow you to investigate the location and interact with it. Let's, let's see who this is. A pair is standing next to a window. The man is muttering something to himself while his wife is observing you with her unnaturally bulgy eyes. The body is laid in the master bedroom. You should pay him your respects. Okay, I think last time we kind of went through this mystery um, doing the preferred ending, but let's see if... Um, maybe let's, let's do something a little bit different this time. Okay, we're in here. Let's, um, let's explore the mansion. Countless spoons fly out of a cupboard when a ghastly figure materializes in the middle of the room. That's the Rumu Ghost. They're doing a lot of damage. Um, I'm probably going to run from this. I, I think this is what I did last time, too. They're a little too strong for me. Let's see if we can bounce. We'll get some doom for it, but... I think they're going to just they're gonna wipe us out if we end up trying to fight them. 
Pressing a handkerchief to your nose, you enter the dark room. There's no way they allowed your granduncle to just lie here. What was the correct bow and clap order? Maybe other guests will know. Let's go back to um the dilapidated corridor and talk to guest two. A muscular man is eyeing you as you take a step towards him. You can't help but notice a deep scar going across his cheek. Okay, so we got the vigil pamphlet. Let's go back to the uh, master bedroom. Actually, okay, let's inspect his foot. What time is it? Nine. Let's see, let's go back to the corridor. 10 p.m., okay. Might still do the um, prayer over the body. All bows, okay. Four bows. Okay. Let's go back to the corridor. And we'll explore the mansion. I think the the stake. There's like a looks like one of the. Okay, hold on. Looks like one of the previous owners of this mansion liked to read. Dusty tomes reach the ceiling. You don't have much time, but maybe you could spare some to look through the books. Hmm. Maybe let's check out the table. Knowledge check success. The notes lying on the table look like the rambling, ramblings of a madman, but you can see a method in their madness. Okay, we got a little experience for that. Light up the fireplace. I feel like I've never seen that before. 11 p.m. Oh, interesting. There's no, um... It's either a dinner or the fireplace. Pray over the body. Ah, interesting, interesting. Okay, okay, let's go to the, uh, let's actually go to the storage room first. And we'll check the wardrobe. We got the meat cleaver. Okay. Interesting. Ah, it's so crazy. I thought the, um, let's, let's light up the fireplace. You couldn't find any firewood to, to the fireplace so we took a, a hit of stamina I'm gonna try to just burn I'm gonna I gotta burn through this one I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna totally messed up if I if I keep trying to do this right light up the fireplace okay so what's it's 11 let's uh, explore the mansion you find a heavy tome wrapped in moth eaten black velvet in an old lock cabinet when you remove the book's wrappings, you recoil in disgust. It's bound in, in human flesh. Okay, we're going to burn the book. You may never know what's inside the hideous book, but that's a good thing. Okay, we got a little bit of doom reduced. 12. It's 12 a.m. Pray over the body. Let's just, let's just do it again. Okay, they're gone. Let's go to the study. Okay, things have definitely changed a little bit. Everyone's gone. Right, let's explore the mansion. Uh, the round window of the crooked manor tower is calling you. You feel your strength drain away as you stare at the bright light. Oh, we're going to get lost in it. You, you really can't fight it. The blinding light is growing larger and larger. To your shock, you can't feel the ground under your feet. You prepare yourself for whatever is coming. Okay, what? I'm hoping this sends me to the, um, to the Bleeding Desert, because I, uh, the other two options are, uh, not preferable. Lost in time and space, you drift in nothingness until something pulls you towards the light. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I necessarily need the katana. Venture further into the desert. I'm trying to remember what the other... I'm always entering the temple, but... I mean, we could get the katana. It's just like another thing that I can probably throw at the uh, school scissors monster. <sighs> I think it's a perception check. Okay, we got the katana. 
Inside a decaying nave, you find a keepsake from the ancient world. There's a humanoid skeleton wearing ruined armor. Its weapon looks strangely familiar. I need to get access to my, uh... My storage. So I can get some of these items out of here. I'm just gonna have, like, baseball bats, meat cleavers, and katanas to throw at, uh... Whatever enemy decides there, they're gonna try to kill me. Let's see what time it is here. 1 a.m. Nothing. Let's go back to the study. I don't think there's anything we can do. Alright, so the, the guests here, they're not doing much. Um, master bedroom. Let's explore the mansion. Does this does this count as resting if I if I take a bath? I'm just gonna say no time for it. All right, so we got a little bit of doom reduced. I don't want to rest at all. I feel like I'm gonna almost anything counts as as resting right now. So it's two a.m. Feed the plant in the uh, in the store in the uh, study. Feed the plant. Um, Let's cut the plant down. You cut down the bloodthirsty plant. It was a good decision, right? Yeah. Okay. Negative three doom. Body's missing. Okay. They're not doing much. Nothing's changing here. Wardrobe is empty. Okay. Let's just keep exploring the mansion. Walking through the forest, you spot a pair of legs sticking out of a bush. Before you can do anything, however, they twitch and move. Wow, they're doing a lot of stamina. <laughs> they're doing so much stamina damage. 20 HP. I'm absolutely going to run from this. Absolutely going to run from this. I think I can take the... Uh... I've been reducing so much doom. You stumble upon Sotomura, furiously scratching his scar. With each motion, he gets a little deeper. With each motion, more blood appears. With each motion, he takes a step towards you. Okay. Man, everyone just wants to do stamina damage right now. I'm not really in a position to fight them, though. Unless... That's still not enough. Oh, but my chance to hit is fantastic, though. Can we do... And maybe... What would this do? 7, 14... Oh yeah, this would absolutely take him out. I didn't realize how high my... Uh, this would be... 7, 14... 19? Okay. Sweet. Okay, that's great. As the vigil is nearing its end, the whole mansion shakes. More and more until the walls... Starts to collapse. Revealing the shocking truth about... Your whereabouts... Okay. You can taste blood in your mouth as the slimy appendages slowly get closer. A voice in your head tells you what to do. Let's see. Sacrifice the guest? I'm trying to think if we... How we... I think I have to sacrifice the guest because I... I... Didn't do the ritual right, so... The uncle lives in the end, but... Let's, um, let's just do it. An unseen force leads your hands. You reach for a knife and stab a surprised guest. Okay, let's conclude the ritual. The price is paid. A voice booms in your head as everything gets dark. When you wake up, you find yourself lying on the wet grass. The old mansion, nowhere to be seen. Standing next to you is a naked, bloated old man. You recognize a tattoo in the man's toe. It's your deceased granduncle. With a coarse voice, he explains the ritual. You try to keep up with him, but you're weak and your head spins. The death toll must remain the same. Two die and two survive. You feel like vomiting as the old man has cheated death. Who has cheated death disappears behind trees. Everything gets dark. Okay. The man who you thought was your uncle has cheated death, making you an accessory to murders. 
You know police officers won't believe you when you tell them the truth and do your best to forget the nightmares you left behind. Okay, a little bit of doom reduction, a little bit of reason and stamina. Okay, let's let's level up. <laughs> oh, I really could have used the uh, this ammo stash. I really could have used the ammo stash before. Um, maybe we'll have some bullets for the lighthouse. Let's, let's just still do it. And I'm gonna heal stamina. I don't think that. I don't think that it, that uh, counts as as resting. Ah, man. So we didn't get the um. The friendly dog disappeared last night, but you have to find a new place to buy equipment. Dang. I was hoping I would get the curse. I was hoping I would get the curse from um. From the um. From that last one. Okay. Let's go home. Take the key. And let's um let's take the Taiyaki. Let's eat this. And storage, let's go. Well, let's take the energy drink now. Until the end of current mystery. Okay, let's take that and let's take the katana. My dexterity is so low. I'm just better off he's swinging the shotgun. All right, um, we have our last mystery here. Oh, this one's crazy. Spine-chilling story of school scissors. Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. You knew your friend was up to something when he left you his notebook full of cryptic notes. I can send her back where she belongs, he claimed. After he disappeared, too, you decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that can stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst thing that can happen? You know what the worst thing that can happen is. Um, missing friend has left you a notebook. If the... Rumors are true. To stop the tall woman with scissors, you'll need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. Accomplishing this requires first the drawing of an eldritch sigil, and then the lighting of holy candles. You can only hope your friend has left, some, left them somewhere around the school. Okay, I want to... Perform a ritual and check out school lockers. Let's check out the school lockers. I think one of these has a rifle. Okay, there's a sport rifle. Three damage. Well, we have two shots left. I wonder if we can just use that with the the shotgun now. Okay, cool. Okay, that's not the... Okay, so we got... Now we got the baseball bat. Um, katana, sport rifle. I'm just gonna throw everything at uh at, the, at these next monsters. Or right, let's explore the school. Wait, why is it suddenly so dark outside? You stand by the window to take a look. Black smog emerges from the courtyard, coating everything in an oily vapor. Are we just gonna observe it? By the time you realize the vapor is forming into a giant hand, it's too late. It crashes through the window, sending shards of glass everywhere. Okay. You feel like something horrible is happening within the school. You must hurry and find those items. Okay. We do have our friend's diary. Let's, um... Let's... Let's see what the, uh... Friend's diary... Sigil can weaken demon for a while. Careful with the lines. Okay, so it's a star with two circles. What's, um... Wait. Okay, we'll get around to that. Hold on. I just want to memorize this. It's a star with two circles and, like, a line. Okay. Let's put this back in storage. I'm gonna take the, uh... 
the wooden bat back out. Okay. As you enter the, as you enter the school gym, you notice a strange black doll propped up against the wall. Oof, okay. Against the against your better judgment, you approach the doll. What you see makes you gasp in horror. The doll isn't a doll. Your sudden movement causes tiny black spiders to flee, revealing a white, half-eaten corpse. Um, we don't have the candles. What's left on the roof? Okay, we gotta go to the roof. <laughs> That's a new face, okay. <laughs> um, check out school lockers, let's see. How do we get to the roof? Something is wrong. Instead of a clear blue sky, you see the bloated corpse of a long forgotten deity looming over the school roof. The barrier between worlds is coming apart. You must hurry or risk being noticed by whatever other eldritch horrors still lurk here. Let's try to sneak. Oh, great, we got another curse. <laughs> oh, dang! We need one more curse! I need more curses! Dexterity check failure. You raise your head in time to see Othgelot's single eye glaring down at you. You scream as your mind is flooded with forbidden knowledge and your skin is etched with ancient runes and curses. I need one more curse. Please. Oh, okay. Oh, how do we get one more curse? I need one more I need one more curse, please. Um Okay. Um you found the blessed chalk. You copy the sigil's best. Okay, so the, what was the sigil? It was a star with like, okay. With two circles, right? See what other options we have. I think that's it. Maybe it was this one. Pretty sure it's this one. Okay, put the bat back. Take out friend's diary. Okay, that's it. So, put friend's diary back. Take out the bat. <laughs> And uh, can I keep exploring the school? Um, access storage. Perform the. I want to keep exploring the school. I need more curses. <laughs> I need more curses. Come on. The corridor is flooded by black sludge that's slowly oozing from under the door to the chemistry's classroom. A damp, moldy stench grows as you get closer. How are you going to get to the other side? Um. Damn. Let's just take the detour. Plus two doom. Better safe than sorry. The sound the sound of scissors is getting louder. You must hurry. Uh let's just I guess do we perform the ritual? I'm so close. I have so many curses. I guess we should do it, otherwise when this thing rolls up, it's gonna be like real beefy. Let's perform Oh, the ritual's not ready. Let's just keep exploring the school. Uh, what you thought was a dis just a discarded pile of clothes suddenly moves. As it stands up, a cloud of white powder is released into the air. Uh, forgot the forgotten specimen. Okay. It's doing a lot of damage. But I can... I can take this dude out. Oh! A lump of flesh! No, this is perfect! Oh, this is good, because I, if I eat the lump of flesh, I think I think I get another curse. <laughs> you found the holy candles in your friend's backpack. Okay, hold on. Slow down. Gotta... I need to... I need to get to... I need to curse. I need more curses. Hold up. Alright. Plus five stamina. Yeah, it's new stamina's. Yes! Right? Okay, one. Oh no, it was only bloated. Curse. 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 Damn. 
Come on. That's <laughs> I need curses right now. Please. Um Wooden bat, okay. Alright, let's perform the ritual. Wait, what's that? Oh, this thing is so pissed off. You take a step back. As a writhing, amorphous mass slowly takes shape. Soon it becomes a tall woman-like creature with three faces, all connected by a wide smile. Now it is now it is your chance to fight and defeat this horror. It is also your only chance. T Twisting and twitching, the demon woman enters the classroom, cackling menacingly. My beautiful. Oh, she does a lot of damage. Her power level is not that high, though. Okay, let's throw the cleaver. She's 26. 23. Throw the bat. 23. 19. <laughs> um, do I throw the baseball bat? Throw the baseball bat. And let's load up a shotgun shell and just, just end this. Oh! Oh, perfect! Actually, I can use ringing ears. That's a curse! Okay, cool, cool, cool. Maybe I'll use it in the lighthouse if... I'm assuming ringing ears. All combat actions are slower until the end of the current mystery. Okay. No, this is good. I think I can get all five of the curses now. Ancient horror lies dead on the classroom floor, slowly dissolving into nothingness. As you find your friend, gravely wounded but alive, you help him, and you limp away from the school as the police sirens get louder. Ending A. Okay. Since a woman is gone for good, or is it? You shudder knowing that the urban legend will inspire another kid in another city to try and summon the Eldritch Bean. Okay, so... Some experience, some doom reduced. More holes. Okay, we got a bullet. Okay, the old god effects. The air feels heavy. Making it harder to breathe. Okay, let's go home. Take the last key. I think that's it, so... With some... That's all the mysteries, huh? Yes. Let's go back to the, um... To the town screen. I have to... In order to... I'm gonna have to fight... I'm hoping we can run into a, uh... Like a human... Enemy. There's like one person that usually hangs out in the lighthouse. Let's see. This one charisma. This one knowledge. You got an eye for art in detail. Plus one perception. Might as well just do perception. I, I, none of these other ones are going to work anymore. Um, unless we do... Let's see. Actually, plus one charisma and then we'll bring... Nope, that's still too low. Um, just bring up perception and bring up luck. Ooh, I'm really hoping we run into uh, because that curse went away. I think we had to amass five curses, but I don't know. If oh wait, new achievement unlocked. Okay, so maybe it did work. Okay, so we'll find out. We'll find out after this. Let's get into this lighthouse. Pop these off. And enter the lighthouse. Let's see, do I have anything in my storage? Take out the rifle. Alright, let's climb. Is it Shiro san that's usually in the lighthouse? Following the winding staircase, you find a metal gate that blocks your way. The cable that should be powering it is currently disconnected. The power box itself is covered in a weird, moist goo. Just inhaling the fumes makes your eyes itch and water, but to power the gates, you'll need to disconnect a faulty plug. Alright, I don't know what this roll is for. Okay, strength check. Weird goo burns your fingers, but you quickly manage to separate the faulty plug and connect the proper cable. With a buzz, the gates open. Is it Shiro's Han? <laughs> it is. Climbing up the winding staircase, you are stopped by a masked man wearing an expensive suit. The rules have changed, kiddo, he says, taking the jacket and mask off. Nothing personal, really. 
why i i just don't understand like at this point i've gone through five mysteries i've wiped out like obviously the uh the eldritch uh monsters like know about me and they know i'm packing heat like i've got a katana i went to the other world i've got a katana i've been I have so many surplus items. I'm like throwing baseball bats and meat cleavers at the bosses. Like, I got two. They know I'm loaded right now. I've got two shotgun shells. They're saying nothing personal, really. Like they're gonna, like they're they're gonna do me in. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm blasting. It's Taka, it's Takashi son. You just don't understand. You just don't know what you got yourself into. 26 HP. Okay. Um. 17 uh 7 oh yeah for a 105% chance to hit i'm just going to ah, ah, double t shot t shotgun shells i'm just going to i'm going to smoke them i've been saving these shotgun shells ever since i lost the gardener uh, it was all it was all for the gardener the ultimate opportunist i don't really think this is a good opportunity for takashi someone it must have missed the memo that I was I was loaded when I came into the uh, into the uh, to the lighthouse, or maybe he wasn't he wasn't paying attention. Looks like the mask doesn't really offer much uh, visibility. <laughs> yeah, he's just frozen. <laughs> Wait. I can't save him at this one. I don't have the uh, charisma. You were stopped by a girl wearing dirty black school uniform. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go any further, she says, reaching for her bag. It's too late anyway. You instinctively take a step back when you notice a knife in her hand. You have to think fast. Okay, we can't do anything for him. Not enough charisma. I don't think I'm going to be able to do any of these. Following the winding staircase, you are stopped by a metal gate. A tiny page nailed to the gate explains that opening the gate will require you to grab two metal rods. Using your own body as a natural conductor, you'll power up the gate. This could be perception. It's knowledge, okay. You grab the rods, electri electricity flowing through your body and burning your, the nerve endings. The pain is almost unbearable, but with a buzz, the gate opens. Okay, we took a little bit of stamina damage. Following the winding staircase, you're stopped by darkness. A thick black cloud is obscuring your vision, and you can swear something is waiting for you inside of it. I don't have a light source. You decide to brave through the veil. You finally emerge a while later safe. You can't, however, explain the blasphemous whispers <laughs> you're hearing. I think that's the last one? Okay. The dark clouds swirl around the lighthouse. Did you arrive too late? Okay, new achievement. So I think I, I got both achievements. Let's find out. As the unnatural fog slowly lifts, you are relieved and collapse on the floor. Okay, cool. Okay. So... Playthrough... Okay. You unlock two new achievements. <laughs> Love how deranged the, uh, the face is. So that should have been the Onyx Medallion and Restless. So go to extras, achievements. Let's see. Defeat a dream devourer without killing a single patient. Interesting, okay. Let's see. It's in here somewhere. Gather five curses. Okay, Ayaka is unlocked. And let's see, where are the um Restless. Restless should unlock complete playthrough without resting. Unlocks challenges game mode. Perfect. Um let's actually try challenges. I feel like that's that's totally new, so... Test yourself with a selection of challenges. Alright. Awesome. That's like... I after, The last video I released, I was... I After I uploaded the video, and then 
I went on YouTube and I did some research. I was just like seeing where everyone else was at with the World of Horror update. And people have just been firing off videos. Like, <laughs> I noticed I noticed some people just had like, they were just loaded. Like, they just had it down and I was like, I kind of turned around and some of you were leaving co comments. And I was just trying to make sure I was like, I was like, uh, like, oh, they're like, oh, this video is like, oh, thanks for releasing the video. And I just wanted to, to clarify. I was, I was like, oh, yes. And there's more videos coming because I was, I was just concerned. I just didn't, I didn't really, uh, explore enough or get much done aside from that one like beta um mystery so i'm glad i'm glad i was able to uh we got what a new mystery did a new mystery today and then we got two achievements that pertain to a lot of the the new content so uh <laughs> i think i feel like i vindicated the uh the situation a little bit let's check out challenges okay random seed oh come on you're being such a ham. It's absolutely ridiculous. Come on, you. Come on. Um, okay. You can't get caught again. Par parole violation. You can't get caught again. You won't be able to save the world from behind the bars. The bars. Okay, challenge. Difficulty true believer. Character Miku. Backstory. World of horror. Special rule. Disables the effect of mayhem. Start with lower doom instead. Oh. Going cold turkey. I think I've chosen the worst time to quit. Difficulty cultist. Automatically discard all acquired cigarettes. Start with a with a bottle of water instead. That's that's so uh that's so um How do they when, how do they make these challenges? But dad, you're grounded for a week, young lady. Why won't you read some books for a change? <laughs> what? Why? Okay, true believer, Mariko. Automatically discard all firearm weapons. Start with an inspiring novel instead. You're grounded for a week. Why won't you read some books for a change? Because <laughs> I'm grounded. I don't want to. I do not want to read books. Ghastly presence. Don't don't you see the person following me? Okay, start with Mind Drain, a random spell, and a new personal status, Ghastly Presence, that will disable all offensive combat actions. Ghost Town, only after your photo shoot was cancelled, you discovered that every business in Shiokawa is closed. Did everyone move out, or... Okay. Wait, what do they mean characters, Teen Idol? All additional actions but rest are disabled for the duration of the playthrough. Okay, oh, I see. I see, I kind of understand what the challenges are. Um, okay, I thought, I thought for some reason, I didn't think anything at all. I guess I, I guess I'm realizing what these, uh, what these kind of pertain to. So what is set difficult set difficulty to H O D Harbinger of Doom. Okay. Hold on one second. How do we get out of this uh this screen? Or right, let's just pick let's just pick this one. I wanna get out of I want to get back to the main screen. I think I might actually save the challenges for later. Let's do, let's do a new story. I want to check out this new character. Okay. Ayaka Kuroi? They didn't want to take part in Ayaka's ritual. No, they are all dead. And their souls will continue to torment her. Starts with the Onyx Medallion. Okay. Um. I think, so, maybe... What's... 
do an endless Harbinger of Doom run, and I think for the next video we can focus on trying to do some of the challenges. So, Harbinger of Doom, and, okay, Solving Mysteries reduces more Doom, but you get more unique combat encounters. Okay, we're, it's not gonna, Hunted by the Cult. You start the playthrough with more funds, but you can't have any human allies. All event skill checks automatically fail. Let's do the seventh curse so we can start with a few bugs. Um, extra options. Let's see timeline A. Item statistics randomization. That's interesting. Okay. Let's do an endless run with them. I'm assuming they're. Let's, let's see what this medallion does. I, I, I think I read up something on it, but I'm not 100% sure how it works. Let's do your lots. Casting spells, causing reason, increases doom instead. Okay. So, the Onyx Medallion. Plus two curses. Every mystery. Interesting, okay. Did I not do um, endless mode? We're, we're gonna have to double check because I feel like we're back at the normal screen. Maybe this is a part of the city planning. All right. I think, oh right, right, right. So let's go. I think it's, it is, this is the mystery. It's, it's the, uh, it's jumping into endless, okay. Bookworm, let's see, Sport Jacket, Teen Witch 2, Windstopper, and his sweater, okay. What's up? The tank tops are always cool. Alright, alright. I don't know what the uh, Onyx, Medall <laughs> Onyx Medallion might not be doing a whole lot in endless mode, but... Plus two curses every mystery. Cure one curse. Oh, once per mystery. Cure one curse. Okay, so what's the advantage of plus two curses every mystery? Cure one curse. That's pretty challenging. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Negative. Okay. Oh, boy. Alright, endless mode. It's hopeless. No matter what you would do, the destruction of your town and the awakening of an old god is eminent. Fight with the ever-increasing chaos as survivors try to find a way to escape from the doomed town. As you progress through the investigation events, you will be granted points and special prizes. Okay. Let's see. Manage your resources carefully and hope for the best. Oh, yes, I will try. Okay, let's hammer through this one. Meet with your friend who has recently started her nurse practice. You lazily chat on the roof of the hospital watching the sunset. That would be the perfect opportunity to ask about the recently the recent unearthly events. What's not, what's not ruined the calm moment? Sometimes it's better not to know. You, you chat until your friend's break is over. Starting, starting so early. It's the magician glitched. Our master is, is coming, and we all can bask in its glory. All right, dude. Have no weapons. Of course, I have no weapons. Uh, we need a weapon. I need to go to the. Uh, I need to go to the. Uh, to the. Uh, can I put you up here? Okay. Maybe that's a better spot. I need to go to the... to the uh, hardware store and get some kind of weapon. Um... 
How much damage am I doing? No, I'm not doing it. We, we, let's run. Let's see if we can run from them. I can't, I can't run. I should have gone. I should have. The first thing I should have done was getting a weapon. Okay, come on, come on, come on. You gotta try to help me with this one. Okay. I have to fight them. This is terrible. Two, four, six. Six. Twelve. Eighteen. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. How many of these boosts can we do? Let's, let's, let's buff each one of these. Or actually, hold on. Let's look for, let's improvise a weapon. Pick a random improvised weapon. Can I do, can I hit them too, maybe? Let me see. For two, okay. Let's, um, let's clear these. And let's look for a stick. Broken, <laughs> broken bottle. Okay, that's probably better than the, uh, than the, uh, than the stick. Honestly. All right. So let's see where we're at. Three damage. Four damage. Three damage at sixty-five percent chance to hit. So is it better maybe to just load up two, four, six at eighty instead of the bottles through six damage? I feel like our chance to hit is much lower. Maybe what? Eighty-five to a ninety percent chance for each one of these, so it's probably better just to, to do three kicks with the buff. Maybe I just throw the bottle at him. Bottle's really not doing a whole lot for me. How much life do they have? 16? Okay, let's do it again. Well, they, they always... They always... Somehow... F prevent my, my last attack from hitting. So annoying. Uh, okay, let's go to the hardware store. I should have bought the the crowbar earlier. Um, do I take the shovel? Mm, it's a str okay. Str they're both strength we weapons. Let's just take the the crowbar. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Your friend has asked you to meet them at a certain secluded location. Getting there, you find a telescope with a note signed by your friend. The note tells you to look through the telescope. <laughs> you don't see anything. You don't see anything at first. Then you notice that the bloated body of Othiolots is getting closer. Okay, so we got some some doom. Impossible angles and seemingly moving lines make your head spin. I just have to stare in disbelief. Alright, negative one reason. This is rough. I already, I already started... If I had the crowbar, I could have mitigated a lot of that damage. The town's docks are a mix of modern warehouses, small shops, and bars where the alternative crowd gathers. An ancient wooden temple occupies a small hill at the town center. Alright, let's pray at the temple. It doesn't matter if you believe or not. The smell of burning incense and old wood calms you down. Okay. The whole building begins to shake as you enter the room. Suddenly, a stone pillar bursts through the floor where you stood just seconds ago. Noticing the arcane symbols painted on the stone, you take a step closer. Everything... all my stats are so low. Oh. Touch the stone. Study the symbols. Well, let's try studying the symbols. Okay, you recognize some of the symbols from a stone tablet you saw at the museum. Right, so it was a knowledge check that we successfully rolled it with only three knowledge. That's crazy. Whoa. 
Wandering through an empty corridor, you find an old vending machine. You don't recognize the brands of soda is inside, but you really could use a drink. We just get the most expensive one anyway. We only have one fun, so... The taste seems a little odd, but you enjoyed the drink anyway. Can we sell this? Let's sell the library notes. So we're back at one fund. The military exercise makes you feel safer, but our guns enough to stop the unspeakable horrors lurking out there. Plus four doom, plus two reason. Okay, that's a pretty, pretty innocent uh, event. It's better than amassing doom or losing stamina or reason. An old priest is performing a ritual to appease a local demon imprisoned underground. You're invited to join them. It's definitely going to be a knowledge check, but... Um, let's just try participating in the ritual. Oh, okay. Distracted by a huge man wearing a demon mask, you have trouble following the intricate pattern of steps, bows, and claps. The ritual is a disaster. Okay, plus two doom. What's um? Let's reduce this doom a little bit. Okay, people point and talk about a man on the other side of the street. You stop in your tracks and listen to the man's cursed incantation. Oh, we did. We gained spells at least. That's the same spell that I already had. You know, there's still a chance for some pretty incredible doom reduction. Just judging by the the, the RNG for the for the events. So let's just see how far this takes us. The round window of the Crooked Manor Tower is calling you. You feel your strength drain away as you stare at the bright light. Or let's get lost in the light. The blinding light is growing larger and larger. To your shock you can't you can't feel the ground under your feet. You prepare yourself for whatever is coming. Just send me to the bleeding desert, please. Lost in time and space, you drift to nothingness until something pulls you towards the light. It always sends me to the bleeding desert. It knows, it knows I want to come to the bleeding desert. I don't go to the, uh, was it the high kingdom or the low kingdom? I maybe went there like once or twice. Okay, so... I do really enjoy this, um... This, uh, illustration is really cool. My perception is devastatingly low, but I might be able to get lucky and roll for the katana. No, <laughs> which I absolutely did not. I did not. Inside a decaying nave, you find a keepsake from the ancient world. Countless skeletons and corpses have shriveled in the arid air. It's like, get out of here. We already gave you the katana the last time you rolled up in here. You think you're going to get it again? It's already gone. <laughs> the last the last person took it. Okay. In the mirror, you catch a glimpse of something that shouldn't be there. Alright. Somehow I'm maintaining some... Some, uh... I mean, my, my doom is incredibly high. Following a weird gargling sound, you enter an alley. Standing in the shadow, you notice a person wearing policeman's uniform. Move along, citizen. Nothing to see here. You've made, you've made a horrible mistake. It's always like, what could go wrong? And then it's like... Oh, you really messed up this time. Alright, they're doing a lot of stamina damage. What are we swinging for? Um, 6, 12, 18? Maybe... Or... Can we do two... Two crowbar swings? We can, we can buff them a little bit for an 80% chance to hit. It would be 8, 16... 16. We're still gonna. They're still gonna get two hits on us. Unless. I mean, assuming these even land. My spells aren't doing anything for me. Of course, that doesn't, that doesn't work. Uh, let's try it again. Right, we're gonna prepare the uh, strong attack.
was not a, I was doing okay health wise, but when you stop by home to pick up your lunch, you find a pile of letters in your mailbox. Let's let's read the letters. <laughs> You've attracted the attention of something truly evil. I'm trying to remember what the um, what the uh, parameters for the for the combat with something tru truly evil could be. I am gonna see actually if I can try to run into the uh, something truly evil now. Let's go to the um, let's go to the doctor's office. Take these painkillers and. I'm going to ex investigate the apartment so we can run into the, um, so we can run into the, uh, the artist. Suddenly it got really cold in the corridor. As you turn to leave, you're stopped by a man with unnaturally pale skin and giant lips. He kisses the air and takes a step closer. Um, okay. <laughs> um, let's see if we can, um, The, gi the gigolo. Okay. Um. I don't. I feel like negative three reason. Can we throw the medallion at them? Because this thing has this thing has not been doing. It's not going to be doing anything for us. Can we sell this? No, we can't sell it. It fell from the sky. All right, fine. Six twelve eighteen. Can we run from this from this dude? Let's just run from him. I've got a plan here. I'm I'm, I'm side railing the uh. The endless run. I think we can we can at least run into something truly evil. Now that we have a um, okay, we're gonna hang up. Come on, where's where's the artist? Uh, uh, okay, loud knocking makes you up in the middle of the night. Open up, shouts the deep voice from behind the door. I know you're there. We're gonna call the police. The man escapes when he hears the police siren, but before he goes, he draws an unfamiliar symbol of blood on the front door. No, no, no. We're gonna keep we we'll keep going back to the apartments. We gotta find the uh, our neighbor. You hear wrestling on the other side of your apartment door. Someone is trying to get in. This is the stalker. Come here. Come on, puppy. Nope, I'm not fighting them. I am not fighting them. There's an opportunity here. They're like, why do you keep running from me? <laughs> Let's just keep investigating. This, okay, cool. While examining the ransacked room of your recently deceased friend, you discover a half-finished painting of a face hidden in the shadows. Something truly evil is getting closer. Okay, so I think now... Um... We're at counter two for something truly evil. I want to um rest. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, this is crazy. You bandage the fresh wounds. You sit on a couch and read your favorite book. Wait, what's that? Something evil <laughs> knows where you live. Plus you stamina, plus your reason. Time flies by so fast you prepare yourself to leave and continue your long investigation. Alright, we're going to rest again. I think it's going to fr frustrate something truly evil and I'm absolutely gonna need more health you take a short nap on your bed you sit on a couch and read your favorite book wait what's that it's coming it's like it already knows where I live um oh oh boy it's just like I'm not quite sure what will trigger the in the distance <laughs> in the distance the bell tolls and everything gets dark <laughs> oh okay your demise is here all right so we finally finally ran into this thing I don't think my stamina or my reasons high enough to 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 do this, but I got the I got the cr I got a crowbar. I'm probably just gonna throw, probably just gonna throw this crow crowbar at this thing. Uh, the bell tolls. 
Dun it, dun it, dun it, dun it, dun it. Oh no. 99 HP. Okay. 99 power. W what other options do I have? <laughs> Look for a weapon? It's not going to do anything. Uh, I, You can't run from this encounter, obviously. Pray. <laughs> Pray. Okay. So. Looks like I need to start. Suffer for me. Cry for me. Let's, uh... Really, it doesn't give us any options to, uh... Takes further lose a hit chance for the enemy. Brace for impact. Lowers the incoming damage by half and ignores any special attacks. Meditate. Okay, let's just, um... Let's start burning reason. Oh, and it's doing damage. Something truly evil requires more. You can't run from something truly evil. It's this. Set remaining reason to three. Something truly evil requires more. Um, suffer for me. I still, I still want to throw, I still want to throw the, uh, the crowbar at this, this son of a bitch. Um, why would I give up? It's every main reason to three. Let's try, um, let's burn some more evil reason. Something truly evil kills you instantly. Kills you instantly. Uh. Oh boy. Six stamina. It, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so if I keep damaging myself, it's essentially going to kill me anyway. But if I give it the option to kill me... Let's try burning some stamina. Set remaining stamina to three. I don't know if this is going to work. No, it didn't work. I just, you just, the encounter, that encounter was the final straw. Your mind has snapped and you've been locked up in an asylum. It would be comforting to accept that you were insane, but no old god is awakening to devour humanity. But the drugs haven't made these horrors disappear. Okay, so, I'm obviously going to have to come back and, and try and fight something truly evil. I feel like that was probably a better use of the uh, that run anyway, but I don't know if I want to look up information to try to fight it, or if I should just try to combat it using the, uh, the options that it's providing me, because it's like, you do damage, then you do an incredible amount of damage to yourself, and then it just, you allow it to just just kill you, which I can't tell if that's like if it's trying to trick you into doing something, or if you need to just hold on doing the, the lower damage. I wonder if, it, if in Harbinger of Doom, if it's even possible to survive. Okay. I think I got a lot done today. I think I probably, like, packed in uh, a lot of, a lot of um, things into one video that I might have spread out over the course of a few videos, but that's okay. I think I'll try to 
I think I'll try to do maybe maybe do challenge mode a challenge next time and and then focus on um uh resurrecting something truly evil and defeating it since that was like the first time I've ever I've ever seen it before but um yeah I feel like I feel like that's I feel like we got a lot done so let me know if um if you have any suggestions or if you want to see me try to do something let me know the uh the information that you all provide is really helpful it's helping me get a little further into the game there's still a lot that i need to do so yeah the info is helpful and i hope you all have a, a great weekend today's friday so i'll try to release this uh later in the evening after the video is done uh editing and processing so like always just be safe and um yeah i'll catch you in the next video. Bye.